So if you love magic and mentalism like me, then I'll request you, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet or if you have come for the first time. If you like this video, please strike the like button, share this video with your friends and write in the comments how you enjoyed this magic. Without much ado, let me show you what the audience is going to see in this effect. So here is what you perform in front of the spectators but there is no spectator here I'm working alone so I'll assume that the spectators are sitting in front and you show them a prediction the prediction is written on a file card and it reads I predict the total of four numbers will be and the bottom portion of the prediction is hidden with your fingers now you turn it over like so and show the other side there are four lines drawn here on the other side and you ask four of the spectators to give a three digit number so let us say that the spectators give you the following numbers the first spectator says 384 so you write 384 the second spectator gives you another three digit number let us say 789 so you write down 789 the third spectator gives you 130 one, and the fourth spectator gives you the number say whatever it can be anything 261 261 so these are the phone numbers the spectators have given you now you add them so it is 13 plus 1 is 14 4 plus 1 16 plus 1 17 18 19 20 26 so 6 comes over here so 2 is left over 5 uh, this is 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 1 13 13 plus 2 15 absolutely there is no forcing the spectators can give you any three digit number and you then turn over your prediction and it reads that I predict the total of four numbers will be 1564 and you are absolutely right fabulous mentalism effect you can do anytime anyway but of course you need to prepare this now let us get into the construction of this fabulous creation of Gerald Koski you need the following things in order to make the gimmick this is gimmick you can make it within five minutes one drawback is that if you are using a permanent marker as I have shown in the presentation then uh, every time you perform this you need to make one gimmick so whenever you get time th that is what I do whenever I have some time in hand I make several such gimmicks and each in each show I use one of them but if you don't have time you just make one and use soft lead pencil instead of permanent marker and you can perform it and after the performance you can erase the writing with the with an eraser and you can use it several times in that way so let us discuss how to make the gimmick 
So you need a cutting mat. Please ignore this black mark. I have been using it for a long time. So you need two, two uh, file cards of the same size. You can buy them online from Amazon or any other online store or from any stationery supply store. Uh, they are file cards. You can ask for and query for uh, blank business cards. So blank on both sides, you need two of them. You need a pencil, very sharp pointed pencil, a permanent marker pen, a ruler, a knife, a paper cutting knife. So this is what you need. Now let us start. These five cards are, I have checked, they are about, about 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters in length. So from this end to this end, they are 10 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to divide this equally into five portions. That means on, at every two centimeters, I'm going to make a dot. And here is one, two, I'll put a dot, one, two, I'll put another dot, one, two, a third dot, one, two, here is the fourth dot, and one, two. That means there are one, two, three, four dots. So similarly, on this edge, I'll make the same dots. So here is the ruler, I am going to join these two dots, one on this end and, and the other on the other end. So there are four straight lines and that means there are five sections in all. I will do the same thing on the other side. Now you have divided this card into five sections on this side and five sections on this side. So the distance between each line is same. Do the same thing with the other card. So now we have two cards. Out of these five sections of any one of the cards, you have to eliminate one section. That means I'm going to cut this bottom section out of this. As a result, there will be only four sections on this card. One is eliminated. So one is eliminated. So this has four sections and this has five sections. Out of these five sections, you take the bottom two section on any side and fold it up. So here it is. I'll fold it up along the line. It should be folded on both sides. So there are two sections on the bottom part of the fold and three sections on top. You have to paste this onto this. That means these two bottom portion that is under the fold will go up to the center of the smaller piece of card. So you have to use some gum. I forgot to tell you about the gum. Now both should be pasted together. These two, po uh, two portions uh, from the bottom of the fold will go here. Make sure that the edges have been aligned perfectly. After you have pasted these together, you put them under some pressure so that they are straight. Put them under something and wait for a few minutes. Now after about 10 minutes, you take it out. It is almost ready and you can see that you are now having what looks like a T. There is a flap over here. There are two sections of the smaller card on top and two sections at the bottom and there is a flap which consists of three sections. So it can be folded this way or above. This is very important. 
Now along the lines that you have drawn with the uh, pencil, you need to draw a dark line with your marker pen. So I'm doing it again very fast but you have to be very neat. Now that is the first line and here is the fold. Now, now in order to camouflage the fold you have to draw this line along the fold. So here it is like so. You can show it like this in front of the spectators even at a from at a distance of three feet the spectators will not understand that two cards have been pasted together you do likewise with the other lines so you have drawn one two three four lines on this side you fold this up and on the other side you do the same thing you do the same thing here This is, this looks like this and only this portion is left out. You do the same thing, draw lines over here. Now you are ready. This is what the final should look like. Here is the smaller cut and here is the larger cut that means with the five sections. Two of the sections are pasted over here. It can go up like this and it can go down like this. Now when it goes up like this, from this side you can see that there is no straight line over here because this straight line is covered by this. So you need to make uh, this one, uh, this section a little smaller than that so that the straight line is seen perfectly. Now you see that if I fold like so, this line will camouflage this section. This is true on the other side as well. Now you need to make the prediction. Now the prediction I have written over here is, I predict the total of four numbers will be. This is pre-written. So it is pre-written. You will have to write it like it. So, so this portion you need to put it over here and you make your prediction with your marker. I predict So I have written up to this. I predict the total of four numbers will be and then I have left out the bottom section because the bottom section when turned over becomes the bottom section of the other side. Now the presentation is show this prediction covering the bottom section which is blank and say that this is my prediction and then you turn over to the other side. Now as you turn it over you just fold it like so. So under cover, you just fold it like so and it looks that you have turned this card over and the other side has only five straight lines. So actually you have folded it. So once again, you cover it up, you show your prediction, turn it over and say that on the other side I have only four straight lines. Now you hold it at the edges so that it do, it do not uh, uh, pop up prematurely. So you have to hold them together pressing a little bit forward like this so it looks straight and you ask for four numbers let's say the spectators give you uh, the numbers two zero three one two three four five six seven eight and nine so these are the four numbers the spectators have given you. You add them together or you can ask someone to calculate uh, the numbers, add the numbers in his uh, mobile 
calculator. So it is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You write a 1 over here. 2K carried forward. So, so you write down the total over here. And uh, here it is 1571 is the total. You apparently turn over the card. But as you do so, you just make this move under cover of your hand. So it turns over like so. So once again, you just in the slow motion, this is an exposed view. You turn it over like so. You have added them. The spectators can check that these are indeed the numbers they have given you. And the total is 1571. Now you turn over the other side in order to show the prediction. But as you do so, under cover of your right hand, you just turn this over, you just fold it up and then turn over the card. So here it is, this is the move and it looks that it is a complete prediction now. The same number is showing at the bottom of the other side now. So it looks like I predict the total of four numbers will be 1571 and you are absolutely this is a beautiful mentalism effect. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and make one for yourself. Give it a try in front of live audience and share your experience in the comment below. Thank you very much for being with me so long. See you again next time in the next video. Till then, bye bye.